Come on, give me a cuddle. <laughs> oh, darling. Oh, my God. It's the first time Izzy's mm. hugged her dad since March. <laughs> How long has it been since we've not been able to do that? Eh? A long while ago. <laughs> Regular testing's changed life at this care home. The vaccine could transform it. It'll just be fantastic. I can, I can come round once or twice a week. Um, we can go for our walks. Just to be able you know, to sit next to him and for him to hold my hand. He's always wanting to hold my hand. It'll just be some step forward to a little bit of normality again. You can start to see the light now. Care homes are top priority, but logistics mean residents, at least, may not be vaccinated until after hospital staff. My heart absolutely breaks for all the relatives who see these as, you know, golden tickets to be able to get back to their loved ones. I can't understand how the government have not planned procedures for the vaccine that we are going to be getting, because they've known for a while that these vaccines are there. So we would have thought those logistical plans would have been put in place. High on the list, over 80s and health and social care workers, but some feel they've been forgotten. Alexander's 29, severely disabled and in a care home. He's hurting himself, he's not sleeping. Those who are living with this separation have to have some consideration as well. And I just keep my fingers crossed that the message gets through that they, they need to include everybody in care homes, that the distress is equal for the younger people as well. In the UK, age is a primary factor, but in France, also at the front of the queue, taxi drivers and others in contact with the public. It's going to take quite some time to get down to some of the average age of taxi drivers, which is it's sort of 50 and 60 years old. Um, but because taxi drivers and other transport workers are exposed to a higher interact, higher amount of interactions with people, um, we feel that that, that that should be taken into account. Ethnic minority groups aren't specifically prioritised either. Despite high risk for COVID, the emphasis instead is on local uptake. These communities have been disproportionately affected, um, largely because they have been overrepresented in frontline um, key worker professions and also because of their wider health and pre-existing conditions. For me, I think a mention of black and Asian minority ethnic communities within the party list um, would have um, seemed sensible. Details will evolve during vaccine rollout, but most can expect next year to be their year. Meanwhile, every day counts. I love you, darling. Oh, I love you too, Dad. Adele Robinson, Sky News.